About a week ago, we did um, an episode, or I did an episode, I should say, with my mother. It was entitled, uh, An Afternoon with My Mother and Her Beads. And beadwork, beading, all things related to beads is a thing that I love and my mother loves. And we, we've spent lots of, we've had lots of really good times, really good memories doing things with uh, beads of all different colors, variety, and shapes. And given that Christmas is coming, there is a project that I, my mother used to do and she still does. And um, I defer to her expertise because it, even for me, I find it is very, very intricate. It, you have to have a lot of um, stability in your hands and it's very intricate work. And here it is. This is a three dimensional bell. You can see the underneath part of it. And it is made, the entire bell, which I think is one of the most beautiful ornaments I've ever seen, um, is made from three different types of beads. And you were saying? You can make it also different color. Of course. Red color with the old bead. Yeah. Faceted bead. Yeah. And pearl. Yeah. So you can do, so we have here obviously a green one, beautiful emerald green. And uh, you can do red. We're going to show you if we can Christmas find, red. yeah, Christmas red, and or you can do um, a white crystal, which I think that's that one is your favorite. I'm just going to show quickly. Uh, this is blue, obviously not a good one for Christmas, but it is possible to, of course, do with blue. And these are the three types of beads. We have the tiny pearl ones. We have the green. They're called roundel. Very very nice. And we have yeah, these, is. okay, I'll, I'll show. And these are oat beads. So you have oat beads, you have the green or whatever color you like, roundel ones, and you have the tiny pearl. Now I have some other pearls I'll show. We got these from Michael's. They're very pretty, but they're a little too big. I think these are four millimeters. And I think these are two and a half millimeters or something 2. like 5. that, yeah. 2.5. So what you were showing me, which I want to show you guys, this is the one my mom is talking about it it's not quite as um obviously it's it's a clear crystal so it's not colorful like the green or the red but the thing is that it is very very beautiful if i had one i would show it uh because it's just ethereal it's all white you know those to do this with the pearls and the old beads is just it's a very ethereal look you were showing me these um crystal yeah yeah that's the one i just showed but can you show me the this one here the red color yeah because it's already in a necklace i don't think we can we already showed the necklace but unfortunately we don't have any that are so you can see these red ones and they're already made into a necklace but of course that one actually is my favorite and really quickly just very very quickly wanted to show the bead book we have this is another thing it makes me so uh brings me back to childhood memories of making the plant hangers and these are if you can see the finished beads this is the one that you like i think they do it with gold oats and pearls it's just gorgeous and this is the red one with an opaque bead but i like the clear ones like you and i'm just going to show quickly we're, we're not going to do any of it today this is just a trailer episode for what's to come. So this is the Pearl Bell uh, pattern. And you can see how they have it. Like there's there's a lot of work in this. I mean, even the handle is made with these tiny pearls and you need a lot of patience. And look at these, these are so gorgeous. Any tree uh, would be uh, beautifully embellished with these ornaments. Anyways, I will leave it there and hope you stay tuned for the episode when we do these. I am certainly looking forward to it. Are you looking forward? <laughs> when I was three years old, we were not supposed to touch bead at that time, but I did. Oh. And don't ask me why I put it. Oh. I had to go to the hospital. Okay, if you didn't catch it, my mom was saying that uh, when she was little, she actually did something with beads that she wasn't supposed to. And we will save that for a future episode. But I guarantee you, it's one of the funniest stories I've ever heard in my life. 
and my mom did this. I think she was two and a half or three, something like that. Yeah, she couldn't talk, but she, she managed to do this really bad thing with beads, and it is a hilarious, hilarious story. But for now, I'll leave it here. So thank you for watching, and see you guys very, very soon. Super, super excited about this episode to come. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.